The Final Fantasy XV crossover event for Final Fantasy XIV returns as of the 28th of February 2024, and if you've already done this event before, then this is a direct copy of the previous two times this has happened in the game. There are no new rewards for you, specifically. However, you can use the event replay feature if you would like to see the cutscenes and activities all over again. If you're a new player or returning player that missed out on events previously, then this is perfect for you. Specifically, this event rewards great items with a little bit of effort required. The main quest then for this event will start and will take you through a plethora of cutscenes and activities in both the instanced areas and open world fate activities. Once you have completed those activities, you will get an achievement reward and the right to actually unlock the rest of the items. The main attraction for the quest is actually an outfit. This outfit is multi-gendered, fully dyeable, and is to represent the character of Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. It's a really nice glamour piece and definitely not something you want to miss out on if you can help it. However, the main attraction to this is the rewards that you unlock the right to purchase afterwards. What I mean by this is that if you go to the Gold Saucer, the Mandeville Gold Saucer, using MGP or Mandeville Gold Points, the currency earned within the Gold Saucer side activity minigame area, you will be able to purchase a really cool looking mount. This is the Regalia mount, obviously from Final Fantasy XV, it is the main form of transportation in that game and is incredibly iconic, and in our game it is a four-seater mount that has a special transition animation to fly mode, which is pretty awesome. This will cost you a whopping 200,000 MGP, which sounds like a lot on paper, but I'm here to tell you it's actually not that bad. Additionally to this, other reward items are available from the Gold Saucer as well. This includes a triple triad card for Noctis himself, Noctis's hairstyle, and of course music roles available for MGP as well. Let's talk about how we can get 200,000 plus MGP very easily within the event period time. If this was any other time of the year that this event went live, I would just recycle the usual methods of farming MGP, but this one is slightly different because we have another event live in the game that lasts until the 12th of March called the Moogle Treasure Trove, the first hunt for Genesis. Doing activities within the game that are specified in this Mogpendium, this is an item that is added to your collections menu as soon as you talk to an itinerant Moogle in any of the starting city-states for the first time. If we access the Mog Pendium, there are a variety of activities within here that will reward you with these uh, tombstones. These tombstones are incredibly useful because if we go over to any of these itinerant Moogles, click on the tombstone reward and scroll down, you will find the MGP Platinum cards. The MGP Platinum cards are 30 tomes each. 30 tomes then will get you 50,000 MGP per card. So obviously the idea would be to get as many of these cards as possible, considering our total for the car is 200,000, and this gives 50,000 of that. That's a pretty good deal. Doing any activity in the game, your roulettes, other activities, storyline dungeons, trials, you name it, those activities will give you this Tombstone reward and you can use these for your platinum cards and get this reward on its own very easily without going into the gold saucer once. However, you will also notice that on the Mog Pendium itself in the collections menu, if we go down to the bottom of the standard repeatable rewards, you will find the gate section. There are actually additional Genesis rewards, the tombstones, for just taking part in various gates. You'll notice that the baseline for this, for losses, for all of those gate events, is one tome guaranteed, with the total of the slices right being 10 if we were to get final place, which is less likely, and obviously some others including the jumping puzzles, Air Force One where you shoot targets, any way the wind blows where you try to pre be prevented from blowing off a platform, things like that, giving up to 8 to 4 depending on the difficulty of that event. Regardless, this is actually additional tomes on top of anything else passively you're doing in the game, and you can easily exchange these for your MGP Platinum cards over time. So that's the main first thing. One of the other reasons you would do gate events is because part of your challenge log, which is something that you unlock in the game, is incredibly useful for the Gold Saucer. 
So accessible from the log menu, you will find the challenge log section with the gold saucer subsection, actually incredibly useful. Uh, you'll see on here that completing three mini games rewards you with a thousand MGP, earning just a hundred MGP from mini games in total, and you 1500 MGP. Participating in five of those gates that we mentioned, which also gives the tombstones that we could save up to get even more MGP. Five gates gives you 5,000 of that MGP. Successfully completing three gates will give you 8,000 MGP. We've got chocobo races on here, which is really fun as well if you've never done that before. If you enter three chocobo races, doesn't need a win, just entering gives you 5,000 MGP. Entering 20 chocobo races gives you 8,000 MGP. Winning your first race gives you 5,000 MGP. Winning 10 races gives you 8,000. Uh, obviously a lot less likely if your bird's not up to scratch. Playing card games, triple triad, playing it 10 times, not necessarily wins will give you 5,000 MGP. Winning 10 triple triad matches, this can be against NPCs by the way, uh, will give you 8,000 MGP. If you use the queuing function to go into the triple triad battle hall and you just play five matches there against those NPCs, you'll get 2,500 MGP. If you win three Triple Triad matches within the Battle Hall, that's another 3,000. If you participate in the Open Tournament, which is incredibly good because there's a working achievement where you can get a special parasol for actually taking part in this and uh, winning so many of these. If you take part in the Open Tournaments, you will get 3,000 MGP. Then there's Lord of Dominion, which plays very much like a MOBA, where you're controlling critters to try and take down enemy towers. Uh, this is usually against NPCs, but there are sometimes some players you can play against, um, especially if there's a tournament on. You get 5,000 MGP just for trying it out. If you play it three times, you get 10,000, and playing five matches, regardless of win or loss, gives you another 12,000. Also, additionally, if you're good at Mahjong, which I am not, if you participate in two Domen Mahjong player matches, you don't have to win, you'll get another 5,000. Of course, this resets every major reset, so once a week on a Tuesday, and uh, essentially that's a lot of MGP, essentially just for doing things passively inside the Gold Saucer that you might be doing anyway. Every week on a Friday, people around the world tune in for various people to solve the fashion report minigame. This is something that is judged every Friday and until the Tuesday, you can claim the rewards from basically equipping a set of glamour uh, specified by a series of clues. And if they're closer to the actual clue that they're specified, so there are obviously guaranteed items to give you a gold rating for each slot. Essentially, if you equip enough of these gold items, uh, you will actually get above an 80 score. And 80 score is all that's required for the maximum amount of MGP. If you get 100 score cumulatively over a few weeks, you access a few bits of extra glamour additionally from another vendor. But all you need is 80 points, and we do a video series every Friday. There are infographics on the internet. There are plenty of people around the world also doing this as well, solving these things every Friday for you. And uh, you should definitely check those out because you'll get 60,000 MGP guaranteed guaranteed at a base level and of course if you just put FC buffs on that goes up to 66,000 MGP if there are any other events on as well that sometimes even increases and there are also personal buffs additionally but yes definitely do every week your fashion report because 60,000 or 66,000 with an FC buff will be definitely working towards your car in no time at all. It is probably one of the best ways of doing it. Doing three weeks of fashion report passively might be the best way if you don't want to do anything else in the game. Another great addition to the Gold Saucer originally was the Mini Cact Pot as well as the Jumbo Cact Pot. The Mini Cact Pot is something you can do every day. You can play this three times. You'll find this in the main counter area of the entrance square. And just for the low, low cost of 10 MGP, we can purchase a single scratch card ticket. The way this works is essentially we're trying to make the sum of a certain number. Uh, for example, if we get three a two and a one then we'll get 10 
thousand MGP. And yeah, that's essentially the main ticket item. If we managed to get this three times in a row, we could get 30,000 just from this alone, you know, these three tickets. So let's do this. We've got two. So if I get a two, I usually try to go here. I'm still probably better off chasing the two. So I'm going to go for that one. But even if you get a low score, you're still going to get some MGP. I wouldn't worry too much about it. There are obviously cat, uh, like a cat pot uh, calculators online if you want to find the best chance of things being in the right place. Uh, for example, that was a good option there. That's why I went there because it could have been 312, but it wasn't. So now I'm going to go, oh, well, seven, let's let's go probably here. Let's hope for big numbers. And we did. We got an eight and a nine. So we got 3,600 because it added up to the, uh, the sum of 24. So that's a pretty good amount of MGP for basically just one card. And again, this was just 10 MGP for a go. And as you can see, that's the reason I chased that seven again. And let's see, maybe we can go this way. And we got 306. Again, anything above 10 MGP is always going to be a benefit. But obviously you're chasing three of those 10,000 uh, results i've had that happen a few times to me believe it or not it's not as rare as you would think additionally what we can do is we can go over to the mini etherite of cact pot board over here in the event square if we teleport over there i can show you how the jumbo cact pot works so the jumbo cact pot unlike the mini cact pot is a once a week thing you go over to the jumbo cact pot broker and essentially we go purchase a jumbo cact pot ticket if we go to this we can buy three tickets in total it'll ask you for four digits we can put in our favorite numbers if we like let's go for four sevens the first ticket will cost you a hundred and then the following tickets the next two will go up by 50 mgp each so the second ticket will cost me 150 mgp let's just press the random button six nine nice we're gonna buy that one and uh, you'll notice that the third and final ticket we can buy for the week will cost me 200 mgp obviously gone up by another 50 and we're gonna press the random button again which is double sevens and two zeros which is quite interesting very symmetrical i'm going to buy that one as well for that 200 mgp and that's what we've got now as they say all we have to do is wait until they announce the winning number but why not join us at the cat pot board for the drawing now it will actually give you a specified time obviously related to your regional place uh, for me it's every saturday at 7 p.m so that's 7 p.m gmt for my particular time zone and of course yours might be different depending on where you are in the world but it will specify this if we were to actually come here at that uh, you would actually get a bonus of mgp usually it happens here a big thing will come out the floor and you get a bonus uh for an early early like an early bird bonus for actually taking part and being here for the drawing but even if you don't come here for the early bird thing as long as you get your ticket you know like your rewards at the cashier by the the you know by the time that the next saturday comes around you will be able to claim that stuff and this big weird lissy looking machine i mean it really does look like a monster when you look at it is what randomizes those things. I've never won the Jumbo Cact Pot, but um, yeah, it's, it's quite a lot of fun. And of course, if you're interested about, um, obviously, the payout, this payout is dependent on how many people take part. So you'll notice that the first prize is uh, nearly at the minimum of 1.1 million MGP. You also get a Mad Bird Ring, which is a piece of glamour that I don't really see a lot of people with because it's exclusive only uh, to people who have completed this it is just a, a, a chocobo ring like there's there's not too much special about it but it is a nice little bit of extra glam and of course as you can see depending on how many tickets sold is the participant bonus and it goes up obviously by a percentage so if it goes to level seven we get another seven percent etc but you'll see even if we get a consolation even if you take place and you, with each ticket failing and getting no numbers you will get a thousand mgp just for taking part that's three thousand mgp for the price of you know obviously 100 150 and 200 in total so it's not too bad actually so definitely take part in this even if you don't plan to actually attend the actual drawing 
One of the other ways of getting MGP then is actually from Wondrous Tales. Wondrous Tales is another great compendium to add to your collection. Once a week, you can go to Chloe Aliapo in Idleshire if you are at the level to unlock this in Heavenswood, and you will be able to get a brand new Wondrous Tales. If we hand over a journal from last time and we get a new journal, because I didn't finish mine last week, uh, this is what the Wondrous Tales looks like. It will appear in your key items. You will notice on here there is actually MGP gold cards as direct rewards so if we'd got just one line of stickers from completing certain events back to back and then every time you do one of these it puts a random stamp on here and you can also shuffle these and retry various things uh, up to a total of nine stickers if you get uh, like a set of four in a row that's called one line if we were to get that we would get 30,000 MGP as a choice if we wanted to or we could go for comedy tombstones or commendation but yeah so 30,000 MGP for the first line for two lines for this next week uh for mine specifically uh we would get Platinum cards, so that's actually 50,000 MGP. You'll notice that for two lines, you would get actually a total of two of those cards. So that's 100,000 MGP just for getting two lines on this. Now, that sounds like just getting two lines. That could be easier said than done. And if you manage to somehow get three lines, and I've never managed to do that in the entirety I've played this game, you can actually get yourself... Um, MGP Platinum cards, which are worth 50,000. You can get 20 of those. 20 of those if I wanted to but honestly I wouldn't spend three lines reward on that I would get a gold certificate because there are much more profitable and harder things to obtain with those than there are with MGP but that's definitely an option definitely pick up your wondrous tales even if you just get one line which seems to be fairly easy um you can get yourself some MGP and if you are a new player and you've reached heavensward and you've unlocked this if you do just the nine seals and you get no lines, you will get like a good portion, like three quarters of a level. Uh, so this is definitely a good way of leveling up your alt jobs just as an extra thing there on the end. With all that said and done then, getting MGP is actually not that difficult. And honestly, it doesn't take like a million years to get. Not like it used to. There's been a lot of additions to the game and ways of making it easier to obtain. Like we say with the Mogtome event, definitely take part in as many things as you possibly can because it's the most enriching experience is not just focusing on grinding one specific thing but more rather than experiencing the entire game as a or as a as a whole you know and that's why it's there definitely engage with as many players as you can do things outside of your comfort zone do things on your mock pendium list do things on your challenge log and passively you will have no problem at all but if you focus specifically on any of the things i've mentioned today in any sort of fashion you'll get your car in no time at all and it is a really cool mount and i hope everybody enjoys this event and if you're unsure on you know how you're going to get that sort of mgp hopefully that's answered a few questions and have helped new players and maybe some returning ones alike anyway much love thank you so much for watching my videos without you i could not exist on this platform much love and i will indeed see you all next time